Good morning. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody today? Fine. Good. Good. How are you doing? I am doing well. Hello at home. Thank you for joining me for our daily exercise, which means we're going to get our bodies nice and loose and our muscles nice and stretched out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not, it's good. <laughs> All right. So again, at home, make sure we have a chair for this particular exercise. Uh, during the course of it, we are going to be standing up and using our chair as balance. Okay, so just letting you know ahead of time, we are going to be standing up and using our chair. Okay, so if you have your caregiver with you, make sure that uh, that you're there with them to make sure that they, they have good balance. Okay, all right. So we're going to start off getting our body loose from our head down to our toes. Okay, so our first little exercise stretch. It's going to be with our head and neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our head to the right and try to look over our shoulder as far as you can. Try and look behind you, over your shoulder, just your head. There you go. Good. I turn your head the other way, to the left. And during this exercise, we're also going to work on our deep breathing. Okay which is gonna help us relax even more and get some more flexibility. All right, back the other way. Again, look at, turn your head, look over your shoulder. Excellent. And back the other way again. Perfect, we'll go for as far as you can over that shoulder. Good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our head in a circle. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna rotate our head in a circle. Don't go too fast, because you will get dizzy. <laughs> around and around we go. Where you stop, nobody <clears throat> knows. And stop, and go the opposite direction, which is with your head. There you go, excellent job, everybody. Good. And stop. Woo, I got a little dizzy right there. <laughs> now we're gonna work on our deep belly breathing, which again, when we breathe in through our nose, we're gonna make sure that we fill up our belly with air, okay? Make sure the air gets deep in our belly. So again, we're gonna breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth. And each time we breathe out, we're gonna relax our body, relax the elbows, relax your shoulders, okay? Breathe in, breathe out. One more, breathe in, breathe out. Good, okay? Now what we're gonna do is gonna stretch out our upper body here. What we're gonna do is put our hands, fingers together Fingers interlocked, okay? Rotate up, and palms to the sky, and reach up. Palms to the sky. Rotate your palms to the sky, and reach up. Perfect. Stretch it out, high as you can. Come on, high as you can, get them up. Try to keep those elbows perfectly straight. And down, perfect. Excellent, okay, you wanna to try to get those elbows as perfectly straight as you can. So you stretch out your shoulders, your biceps, your tries, your back, your chest, everything. Okay? And plant patty cake. All right, getting fingers together. Again, we're gonna rotate our palms up to the sky. And stretch it up, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. All right. Go as high as you can, go higher. So. And down, perfect. 
Excellent. All right. Now we're going to move to our lower body here. Okay. Kind of in the middle lower body. We're going to lift our right arm up. All right. And we're going to lean it over ourselves, just like this. Good. Excellent job. And back to the middle. Switch arms up. Stretch it over. Excellent. And back to the middle. So this is going to be mostly stretching just to get you loose, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our left leg out. And if you want, you can get your butt a little bit closer to the edge of the seat so it's a little bit easier. Left leg out. All we're going to do is make sure our heel stays on the ground. Our heel is going to stay on the ground. What we're going to do is we're going to put our arms out. And we're going to reach down and touch our toes. Let's try and touch your toe. Oh, sure. Make sure your heel stays on the ground. Perfect. And as we're doing this, we're going to breathe in through our nose. Out through the mouth. And each time, we're going to, we're going to be able to stretch a little bit further. Each time we exhale. So breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Good. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Perfect. And back up. Switch legs now. Switch legs. Okay, make sure that heel stays on the ground. We're going to reach out and reach. Uh, this leg, I'm not very flexible with this leg. But as I breathe in and out, I'm going to be more flexible, okay? So breathe in through your nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Try and touch those toes. Good. Back up. Perfect. Excellent job right there. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stand up. Okay. I want everybody to get behind your chair. Oh. You can turn your chair a little bit. Perfect. Everybody got that? Good. A little bit more that way so you have more room. Good. A little bit further so you have more room. You're going to stand behind here. Just right there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now again, our first exercise, we're going to do leg lifts, okay? So everybody stay where you are, but we're going to move our legs out to the side. It's going to look like this. We're going to put our leg out and in. There you go. Good. And out. And that's two. Out. And in three. Out. In four. Out. In five, out, in six, out, in seven. Try to keep your back straight. Out, eight, out, and in, that's nine, out, and in, that's ten. Good. Now we're going to switch legs, okay? While you're doing this, again, you want to make sure that you keep your back and your head up tall, back straight, okay? So now we're going to do the other leg. You can stay where you are. Yeah. Now we're do the other leg, and we're going to put it out. And down that's one, out, and down that's two, out, and down that's three, out, down that's four, out, down that's five, out, down that's six, out, down that's seven, out, down that's eight, out, down that's nine, out, and down that's ten. Again, use that chair as balance, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put we're going to uh, lift our legs straight behind us now, okay? So it's going to look just like this. You go straight behind you. Okay, good. Just about to turn the back. Come straight behind you, okay? Just like that. Ready? And lift the leg back. And down that's one. Back. And down that's two. Back. And down that's three. Back. And down that's four. Back. And down that's five. Back down six, 
back and down that seven back and down that's eight back down that's nine back and down that's ten great job now we're going to switch to our other leg now okay so stay to stay where you are switch we're going to usually switch to our other leg ready and back and down that's one back and down that's two back down that's three back down that's four back down that's five down six down seven um, <laughs> eight and back and down that's nine one more back and down that's ten great job excellent how's that feel good now our next one we're going to do many many squats okay so it's going to look like this and caregivers with you, make sure that they're behind you, okay? All we're gonna do is go down a little bit and then come back up, just like that, okay? So down a little bit, come back up. Don't go further than you can. And down and up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up six, down, up seven, down, up eight, down, up nine, and down, up ten, good. Now we're gonna do calf raises, okay? So we're gonna go up on our toes, up and down on our toes, so it's gonna look like this. We're gonna go up on our toes and down, just like that, okay? So up and down, that's how it's gonna look, okay? Everybody got that? All right, so up on our toes, down, that's one. Up, down, that's two. Up, down, that's three. Up, down, that's four. Up, down, that's five. Up, down, that's six. Up, down, that's seven. Up, down, that's eight. Up, down, that's nine. Up, down, that's 10, good. Everybody back and sit back in your chairs now. Excellent job. Bathroom? Okay, excellent job. Everybody sit back down in your chairs. Woo, you can feel that in your legs, can't you? Oh yeah, that's good. That is good. All right. So now what we're gonna do is gonna go to our upper body workout, okay? We're gonna do first one. Arms gonna come up. We're just gonna reach up and down. That's one. Up. Down. That's two. Up. Down. That's three. Up. Down. That's four. Up. Down. That's five. Up. Down. That's six. Up. Down. That's seven. Up. Down. That's eight. Up. Down, that's nine, up, and down, that's 10. Excellent. And between this, we're gonna work on our breathing, okay? So we're again, we're gonna breathe in through our nose, fill up that belly, out through the mouth. And each time, we're gonna breathe out nice and slow and relax our body. Breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth. One more, into the nose. Out to the mouth. Excellent job. All right, one more set. Ready, arms up and up. Down, that's one. Up, down, that's two. Up, down, that's three. Up, down, that's four. Up, down, that's five. Up, down, that's six. Up, down, that's seven. Up, down, that's eight, up, down, that's nine, and up, down, that's 10. Great job. Fantastic. How's everybody feeling? You all get at home? <clears throat> Excellent. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do arm circles, okay? So our arms are going to come straight out. We're going to lift our palms to the sky. And we're going to rotate forward, forward, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. And hold it out there. Turn our palms down to the ground. Now we're going to go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And down. Good. Now in between those sets, we're going to work on our deep breathing again, okay? So again, we're going to go in through our nose slowly, out through our mouth slowly. Relax as you breathe out. In through our nose, out through our mouth. In through our nose, and through the, out to the mouth. Good. Excellent job. All right. Now we're going to work on our midsection, okay? Very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to do knee lifts, okay? So if your chair has handles, you can hold on to the chair. And all we're going to do is we're going to lift these up and down, and up, and down, okay? We're gonna go on my pace, and we're gonna hold it for about a second and a half, and then down. So it's gonna go like this. We're gonna go up, one, two, down, just like that, okay? Ready, and wait for truth to come back in and go. So again, for everybody, just going back to what we're doing, we're doing knee lifts, okay? So again, we're gonna lift our knees straight up, and we're gonna hold it for a count of one, two, and then back down, okay? Okay, this is gonna work our midsection. Our, with a strong midsection, it's gonna give us a strong lower back, which is gonna help us with our balance and be able to maintain that independent, independent walking for a while, okay? For longer. Ready? Hold the knees up. One, two, and down. That's one. And up, one, two, and down, good. That's two, and up, and one, two, and three, good. And up, one, two, and four, and up, one, two, and down, that's five, good. And up, and one, two, that's six, good. And up, one, two, that's seven, Good, and up, and one, two, that's eight, perfect. And up, that's one, two, that's nine. Now this last one, we're gonna hold it for a count of six, okay? So ready, hold it up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, perfect. Now, we're going to do that set one more time, but in between there, we're going to work on our deep breathing, okay? To give our muscles, get our muscles to relax, so it'll be easier the second set. So everybody in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Excellent. Okay. Now going back to our knee lifts. So get ready. Okay, we're gonna lift our knees straight up and hold it. One, two, and down, that's one. And up. One, two, and down, that's two. And up. And one, two, that's three. And up. And one, two, that's four. And up. One, two, down, that's five. And up. One, two, down, that's six. Up. And one, two, down, that's seven. And up. One, two, down, that's eight. And up. And one, two, down, that's nine. Now, this last one, we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. And I want you to get those knees as high as you can. Okay? <laughs> Ready? Lift those knees up as high as you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, come on, 4, 3, no, 2, 1, and 1. That's cheating. That's not cheating. I'm just going by the clock. The other clock was back. 
That one was not. Yeah, no, sometimes it does that. Sometimes it does that. It depends, it depends on what yeah, the hourglass has big grains of sand or little grains of sand. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. It's all right. It's all right. That's funny. All right. Now we're going to work on our boxing. Bingo. We're going to work on our boxing. So, with everybody with their hands up, protecting your face, what we're going to do is we're going to punch and then switch arms and punch. Okay? Punch, 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 punch. My face. Punch. Punch, 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 punch. Punch, 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 Yes. All right. Now we're working on deep breathing again, okay? Uh, so again, nice relax. Breathe in through our nose. Out to the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Out to the mouth. Good. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out to the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Out to the mouth. Good. All right, so now we're going to add in one more element. And it's, it's going to look like this. We're going to punch, punch, uppercut. OK? Punch, punch, uppercut. Just like that. Punch, punch, uppercut. Punch, punch, uppercut. Good. Punch, punch, uppercut. Good. Punch, punch, uppercut. Good. Punch, punch, uppercut. Punch, punch, uppercut. Good. Punch, punch, uppercut. 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 A little faster. Punch, punch, uppercut. 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 That was tough. I know it's tough. As long as you keep your arms moving, you're doing a great job. Boom. Boom. Mama knocked you out. All right. Great job. Now we're going to work on our cool down, OK? Now we're working on a cool down. So very simple. We're gonna end where we started off. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Arms together. Fingers are fingers together. Good. Palms up to the sky, and reach up. And I want you to lean back at the same time. And you hit, if you have to yawn, you can do that. And down. Perfect. Ooh. Now we're going to work on our breathing again. What we're going to do is we're going to breathe in through our nose, out to the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, out to the mouth. In through the nose, out 
to the mouth. Good. Okay. Now one more time. Fingers together, interlace. We're going to reach our palms up to the ceiling. Reach up and lean back. Reach those hands as high as you can go. Come on, get them up, get them up, get them up. Good. Good. And down. Perfect. Excellent job. Excellent. How's everybody feel? <laughs> All right. Okay. Now we're going to do deep breathing again, okay? So we're going to breathe in through our nose, out through the mouth, and relax. In through our nose, out through our mouth, relax. In through our nose, out through our mouth, relax even more. Perfect. Good. All right, so now, put our right arm up. We're gonna reach over ourselves, stretch all the way over, like a swan statue, like a ballerina. Perfect. And back to the middle, we're gonna switch arms now, with our arm up, and reach over. Good. And back to the middle. Perfect. Now back to the middle here. Okay. Put our left leg out. And again, we're going to reach down and try to touch that toe. There you go. We're going to breathe in through our nose, out through the mouth. Relax and reach down even further. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Try and grab that toe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Perfect. Hold it down there and back up. Good. Switch legs. Okay. And reach down. Try and grab that toe. Now, we're gonna breathe in through our nose, out to the mouth. In through our nose, out to the mouth. We'll relax just a little bit further. In through the nose, out to the mouth. Grab that toe, perfect. Hold it, and back up. Ooh, perfection right there. Great job. How's everybody feeling? Pretty good? Okay, so last stretch, we're gonna stretch out our midsection, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our whole entire upper body and our head and try to look behind us like this. A whole entire midsection and try to look behind us. There you go, turn the whole body. Good, whole body. You can feel the stretching in your midsection. If you have a chair right here, you can grab the chair on your side and you can pull Pull yourself around. There you go. Good. Perfect. And we're gonna switch sides now. So you can grab the other side of the chair. We're gonna pull ourselves around. Look behind us. And good. Now our last stretch is gonna be our spread eagle stretch. Okay. Uh oh. Very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to put our arms straight out and we're going to reach back and spread. We can stretch out our legs too. There you go. Spread out and back in. Good. And we're going to do that again, okay? We're going to do it one more time. Spread out, spread out, and Spread it out, and back in, good. Thank you everybody for joining me for stretch. Thank you everybody for joining me for stretch. I appreciate this morning. Thank you at home for joining me, I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, night, evening. Well, let me say. <laughs> All right.
So Fred, we're doing something different today since we don't have to have any. So what we're gonna do is we'll do an activity where I'm gonna read the DVDs, we're gonna talk about them, and see where it goes, all right? That's right. You can start it when I say start it. What should be the name of this activity? Anybody have an idea? Killing time. Killing time. DVDs with D. That's what it should be called. DVDs and movies with D. DVDs and movies with D. Yeah, that's a good name. It's going to be called DVDs and movies with D. Oh, wait, D. Yes. Who's D? I'm D. I'm Diallo. Yeah. DVDs and movies with Diallo. Okay. That work? D and D. All right. With Yes. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Fine. Well, hey, how, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Welcome at home. This is, my name is Diallo, and today we're going to do a new activity. Okay, it's called DVDs and Movies with Diallo. So what I have in front of me is a bunch of DVDs and movies. And what we're going to do is I'm going to read what the movie is, read the back of it, and then we're just going to go over it, okay? We're just going to reminisce about certain aspects of the movie or certain parts of our life that relate to the movie, okay? All right, so our first movie is going to be Seabiscuit. Yeah, the, the whole, Seabiscuit's the racehorse, exactly. So our first movie is going to be Seabiscuit about the racehorse. It's the racehorse who won the Triple Crown. Which is, you guys know what the Triple Crown is? It's the Kentucky Derby, the Belmont Stakes, and Santa Anita, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So, again, the Sea Biscuits. Now, this movie came out in 2003, which was a while back. I was still in high school at the time. Okay. I was a sophomore in high school. How about that? All right. Now, this movie stars Tobey Maguire, Jeff Bridges, and Chris Cooper. Now, Tobey Maguire, he plays a lot of movies. Probably the most famous is Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Okay. Now, this movie is a great American story from Academy Award-nominated filmmaker Gary Ross. Seabiscuit stars Tobey Maguire, Jeff Bridges, and Chris Cooper. It's based on the inspiring true story of three men, a jockey, a trainer, and a businessman, and the undersized racehorse who took the entire nation on the ride of a lifetime. This breathtaking film is a must-see movie-going experience and flat out a great movie. Now, I've actually only seen bits and pieces of this movie, but I know the story, definitely. Now, this movie, for this movie, you're gonna explore racing through history. Horse racing, that is. Even, I, I've been to a horse race, right? It's the most exciting thing ever. You go to a horse race and you bet on it, you put $5 down on a trifecta, see those horses running around, everybody screaming, oh! Right, great stuff right there. All right, so our next movie is going to be the best of the Andy Griffin show. Now, everybody knows who Andy Griffin is, right? Yeah. Can you whistle? Can you whistle the theme song? Anybody know the theme song? <laughs> now you know, right? <laughs> All right. And, and Opie, right? And Opie? Yeah. And what's the other sheriff's name? The other deputy, I don't remember his name either. We're gonna find out though. All right, pull up your pull up your favorite sofa, grab a soda pop, and enjoy three classic episodes from the Andy Griffin Show. Don't that beat all? So the first episode is Man in a Hurry. This is episode number seventy nine. So the original air date of this episode was January fourth, nineteen sixty three. Anybody know that? January 4th, 1963. You were in high school? In 1963? Were you a 4.0 student? 
Straight A's? No. <laughs> Let's see. January 14th, 1963. So, we'll see what's on January 14th, 1963. On this date in history. What do you think the most popular baby names were? Female or Female. Susie. Susie? Mary. Mildred. So if you were born on this date, you'd be 57 years old. And January 14th and 19. 67. Hey, that was a Thursday. Today's Wednesday, but that was a Thursday. Now, this that date, how many days ago do you think it was? Less or more than 15,000 days ago. <laughs> it was definitely more. It was 20,967 days ago. Okay. Woo. Man. <laughs> That's... So, baby names in 1963, the top of baby names for males, number one, or number seven was William. Number six was Mark. Number five was Robert. Number seven was James. Number three was David. Number two was John. What do you think number one was? Wayne. <laughs> Michael. Yeah. Number close. So here are the name, the top seven names, 1963 for women. Number seven was Lori. Number six, Patricia. Number five was Donna. Number four was Linda. Number three was Karen. Number two was Susan. And number one, Mary. I feel like Mary's name every year. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> okay. So again, this Andy Griffin episode was in 1963, January 14th. It's mm -hmm. episode number 79. A, bulldo a bulldozing businessman with engine trouble, Malcolm Tucker, is stranded on Mayberry is stranded on a Mayberry Sunday on his way to the to an important meeting in Charlotte. Gomer, the gas pump guru, is the only hope as the mechanic. Where is a Wally? So everybody knows Mayberry Street, right? That's where they live for, for uh, Andy Griffin. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, the next episode on this is episode number 16, which the original air date was January 16th, 1960. Okay, it's, it's Founders Day and Andy is judging the local beauty contest. Selecting a daughter, niece, or sweetheart to be Miss Mayberry proves to be more dangerous than sheriffing. What do you think that means? She's out. Well, if he's got to pick the person in Mayberry who's top in the beauty contest, a lot of politics going on there, huh? You got a store manager who says, my daughter's the best. You got his neighbor who says his niece is the best. What's a man going to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next episode is called Fun Girls. It's episode number 122. The original air date was January 6, 1964. Hello, doll. The Fun Girls are back, and Thelma, Thelma Louie and Helen are dancing mad. I, I don't remember that episode, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be dancing all the time. <laughs> all right. Now, our next DVD movie is Bonanza, The Avenger and Bitter Water. And I know lots of you at home and here know Bonanza. That's my mom's favorite show. Uh, every time I go to mom's house, I go there and she's watching Bonanza. <laughs> right? Now, who are the stars of Bonanza? You got Don Blocker, Pernell Roberts, Michael Landon and Lauren Green. All big Western stars back then, right? All right. It says, come take a trip with us back to the West with the Cartwright family. 
the adventure never seems to end for Ben Cartwright and his three sons. These great series show us what it's like for a single father to raise three children while running a 600,000 acre farm. I didn't know 600,000 acres, that's a big farm. Well, yeah, it is. 600,000 acres, what's that, like the size of Oakland? <laughs> that's a big place, jeez. What's that? Yeah, that is a big, big farm. They, they're farming cattle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So our next DVD is going to be An American in Paris, mm -hmm. which I've actually seen this movie because I love old movies. Mm -hmm. So it's called An American in Paris, starring Gene Kelly, Leslie Karen, Oscar Levant, George's Gutry and Nina Foch. Everybody knows Gene Kelly. Now, Gene Kelly, producer Arthur Fred, director Vincent Minnelli, and a skilled production team conjured entertainment for the ages. Kelly plays an ex-GI who loves Paris and an alluring but engaged perfume shop clerk, Leslie Karen, in the beginning screen debut. Dazzling dance sequences are spun around songs by the Gershwins and a closing ballad combining George Gershwin's title piece, impressionist set stylings, and Kelly's inamitable talent for telling a story in dance. Lifts this winner of six Academy Awards, including Best Picture, plus an honorary Oscar to Kelly. Does anybody remember seeing that? I, I again, mean, it's one of my favorite movies. You have Gene Kelly. It's called American in Paris. So it's Gene Kelly who plays an American GI stationed in Paris. And he falls in love with a perfume store's clerk. Now, how many times during World War II did that happen? How many GIs during World War II came back with a French wife? <laughs> or a German wife, or an Italian wife, right? <laughs> Lots of them. Lots of them, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> All right. So our next one stars Gary Cooper and Grace Kelly. And it's called High Noon. Another Western called High Noon. So it says, Gary Cooper won the Oscar for the best actor in this classic tale of a lawman who stands alone to defend a town of cowardly citizens against a gang of revenging seeking criminals. Classic Western, right? Bunch of criminals come in, there's no law enforcement whatsoever, and a hero comes and saves the day. Like John Wayne. Oh, hey. John Wayne. What are you doing, Pilgrim? <laughs> right? Uh, let's see here. In the greatest showdown in the history of cinema, Cooper stands to lose not only the town, but his new wife, Grace Kelly. The film also stars one of Hollywood's most beloved and prolific actors, Lloyd Bridges, and marks the first starring role for a beautiful young actress and internationally adored screen legend, Grace Kelly. High Noon, High Noon garnered a total of four Academy Awards, including Best Editing, Score, and Original Song. That's pretty good, huh? Definitely gonna watch this one these days. Okay. So our next one, well, that's okay. Our next one is gonna be, is another classic musical. It's called Easter Parade. It stars Fred Astaire and Judy Garland. Everybody remembers Judy Garland, right? Everybody remembers Judy Garland. Okay, let's see. What's that? And oh yeah, great actors. You bitch. If you can't join him, beat him. When his longtime dance partner abandons him for the Zekfield Follies, Don Hughes decides to show who's who, what's who's who, what's what by choosing any girl out of a chorus line and transforming her into a star. So he makes his choice and takes his chances. Of course, since Fred Astaire portrays Don and Judy Garland plays the Corrine, 
we know we're in for an entertaining, sure thing. Strolling along Fifth Avenue or going on the bum as a couple of swells, Garland and Astaire lead a parade of music. In this never ending delight that co-stars Ann Miller and Peter Lawford. Don't let this colorful Easter parade pass you by. So basically he takes his dancing partner, leaves him, so he finds any old dancing partner, Julie Garland, which is one hell of a dancing partner, right? <laughs> All right. Now this is one I'm pretty sure nobody has seen, because I've never even seen it. It's called Wolf Nation. Never heard of it, but we're gonna find out what it's about. Okay, it's always good to find out new things, right? Learn new things. Again, it's called Wolf Nation. It's a mystic fire movie. So I'm guessing is there the set of books and then they then they film the movie. It's probably like three or four books called Mystic Fire uh, Books, Wolf Nation, and then they made it to a movie. So let's see here. Wolf Nation. The wolf is not just an animal, but something inside you that makes you want to fight back, to come back, to be whole again. Since the Ice Age, the destinies of the northern Arapaho Indians and the gray wolf have been inter intertwined. Like the fierce, magnificent wolf, Native North Americans were also banished from their natural habitats, habitats and watched their population nearly disappear. Wolf Nation celebrates historic moments of rebirth for both the wolf's controversial and historic return to Yellowstone Park in 1995, after nearly a century, and the first performance of the Rapahoe's sacred wolf dance in over 50 years. The dance also marks the passing of tribal leadership and traditions from medicine man Mark Soldier Wolf to his son, Anon. For the Northern Arapaho Wolf Society, the wolf is nature's greatest teacher, a source of prophecies concerning the coming millennium. In honor of their allies' return, they are breaking a century of silence to finally share the wolf's teachings with the world. With stunning nature images, archival photograph, photography of the Northern Arapaho, and rare footage of the capture and reintroduction of Canadian gray wolves to Yellowstone, Wolf Nation is a moving and historic document a story that involves every one of us. That's nothing like I expected, right? It's actually a documentary about the Arapaho tribe and their connection with the wolf in Canada and parts of North America, parts of Northern United States. The wolf? Yeah. It's a, it's a dog. The wolf is actually every single dog you see today came from a wolf. Yeah. You know that? And all the varieties of dogs they have today, which is probably like 150 of them, just 100 years ago, there was less than 20 breeds of dogs. Since then, there's over 150 breeds of dogs because they interbreed them for competition. So that's how you can get, you can go from a bull mastiff, which is a humongous dog, all the way to a chihuahua, which is a little yapping dog, right? Ankle biter, I call them ankle biters, chihuahuas. So that was something definitely different. All right. So let's see what else we got here. This one is called Cat Baloo. Cat Baloo, starring Jane Fonda and Lee Marvin. You know, I don't know who Lee Marvin is, but I know who Jane Fonda is. So it says here, Cat Baloo was one of the most original pictures ever made. Let's see. The sleeper hit of 1965, Cat Baloo was declared an instant classic when its sly blend of Western parody and rapid fire action hit the screen. Lee Marvin won an Oscar for Best Actor for his dual role as a noseless gunslinger, Tim Strawn, and as Kid Shanique. The woozy boozy has been who's gone up against him. Jane Fonda co-stars as Catherine, Cat Baloo. The school more the school morm turn, turned outlaw who teams up with Kit. Singer Nat King Cole and comedian Stubby K also appear, singing the title song, The Ballad of Cat Baloo. 
this wild and woolly adventure is the ultimate American spoof of the American Western. Actually sounds fun. And you got the lead song sung by Nat King Cole. That's good. That is excellent. All right. And now our final movie of today, final movie DVD is going to be the Jackie Robinson story. Now this is a documentary by Ken Burns. Everybody knows who Jackie Robinson is, right? The baseball player, first to break the color barrier in Major League Baseball in 1942 for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yes. Okay. So Jackie Robinson rose from humble origins to cross baseball's color line and become one of the most beloved men in America. A fierce integrationist, Robinson used his immersed fame to speak out against discrimination he saw on and off the field, angering fans, the press, and even teammates who once celebrated him for turning the other cheek. After baseball, he was widely, he was a widely read newspaper columnist, divisive political activist, and tireless advocate for civil rights, who later struggled to remain relevant as diabetes crippled his body in a new generation of leaders set a more militant course for the civil rights movement. Featuring intimate and revealing interviews with his family and rarely seen photographs and film footage, this two-part, four-hour documentary tells the extraordinary story of an American icon whose lifelong battle for first-class citizenship for all African Americans transcended even his remarkable athletic achievements. Jackie Robinson, Martin Luther King once said, was a sit-inner before sit-ins and freedom riders before. So it says Jackie Robinson, Martin Luther King once said, was a sit-inner, sit-inner before sit-ins and freedom riders before freedom rides. Interesting, huh? He died at a very young age. He was only in his early 50s when he died. That's too young, huh? Ain't it? That is way too young. All right. So thank you very much. Again, my name is Diallo, and this was DVDs and Movies with D. Olé. 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 Thank you for joining me. Mr. Diallo. Oh, thank you. <laughs>